Ah, uh, is it my turn, is it? Hi, I'm Jez Bot. I'm Timmy Taco. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm back from holidays. We're all kind of back from holidays. Yeah. I haven't been anywhere. Way. Well, you haven't been here for a few episodes. That's true. That's true. Hi, yeah. Katie. Hi. We haven't seen each other in such I a know, long, it feels long weird. Time. I usually see you weekly, daily. Uh, monthly, Momentarily. Yearly. And um, you're still pregnant, yeah? I am still pregnant. Looking looking big. Looking. <laughs> As Dan would say, yeah. looking fat. Yeah, he t- he's got that knack, hasn't he, of making women mm. feel really special. Mm. Right. Yes. Good on him. Thanks, Dan. Because you said, you said you feel like you've got a bit of a beer belly? I've got a, <laughs> a bit of a beer belly. Yeah. 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 Just uh, <laughs> now you know how Matt feels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's her husband. Yeah. That's 30 grand's gone into that gut. <laughs> <laughs> with, the beer. Cost. with the, yeah. with with the, the cost beer. of beer yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. i'm drinking tea hmm. oh yeah, yeah. Night, night time tea. Uh, i'm trying not to drink on the podcast anymore oh yeah Ooh. yeah a bit, bit, bit more professional now i've got nothing no so we're just having a few uh minor difficulties with the with the cans with the cans yes yeah, and beer that. cans oh perfect say beer can Beer can. Now say it, try to say it without sounding like a Jamaican. Beer can. <laughs> beer can. Beer can. Beer can. Beer can. can. Hmm. Cool. How is your uh, staying at home time, Tim? Being here? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, I was editing together your holiday. Sure were. you were still on it. You were. Every time I got to the end of the, um, <laughs> end of the editing, you sent me another 25 clips. Yep. Yeah. Really um, must go. <clears throat> I Sorry. did hear. I did hear that you sent a lot. Mm. I, was, I was recording as yeah. I went. Well, this is after that episode, so That's right. technically the listener knows what we're talking about, but I you guess guys so. don't yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what? What? Uh, what? Uh, give us something amazing. Um, amazing. I think uh, children should be banned from flying on aeroplanes, or is it airplanes? We will never know. Mm. Not sure. We'll never know. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Well, the kicking of the seat. Oh God, that's yeah, see now I want to. I want to know from a non, uh, from a childless mm. person. Mm. What's your definition of kicking on the seat? Is it like? Uh, should I it, kick you and was show it, you <laughs> how no, much of no, uh, Was it like one kick every hour? It was. It was kicking it the whole way. It was no. more of here. a I like, tanty. I like the tray table up and down, like smack, mm. smack, smack, mm. smack, smack. Because then the whole seat is like. Because I do yeah. admit n- uh, now that um, I have children, um, <laughs> that uh, I don't hear them scream. <laughs> you don't hear your own stuff. kids scream, but no. we hear them. Okay, you it, still hear them? Us, us non-childless people, mm. we hear them. Still tuned mm. in. That's what I was thinking. Like, if, yeah. is it? It's kicked my seat the whole way. Well, you've got kids, really? so you're always tired. <laughs> so, you so you can but sleep through it. Anytime you can sit down and you can <laughs> shut it off. But I'm talking about directly behind me, Tanties uh, kicking like uh, oh. he was doing a uh, backstroke or freestyle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot. Uh, I was, I don't know, half an hour in and I stood up and went, dude. Oh, really? To the, to the father. And I was, oh, I'm trying. I said, no. You're trying. He's trying. He's trying. trying. He wasn't trying. Me. He wasn't. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't trying at all. He didn't have any uh, video games. Uh, no entertainment for the child, which I think is is vitally, vitally important. Or um, for Nergen. See, when I was a child, mm. Mum used to drug us with Finergan. Finergan. Yes. Um, but I'm talking to go from home into Wangaratta, which was like 25 <laughs> minutes away. Yeah. And my sister, when she had kids, was like, how come Kate used to sleep so well when we travelled? Mm. Oh, I drugged her. Yes. Yeah, yes. you know Finergan oh. and Scotch aren't the same <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> but Mum was like, but isn't that done now? Don't you just drug your kids when you go on airplanes? Well, well you're, sure. supposed to, you're supposed to do it before you... you supposed to try the Finergan before you get on a plane because some kids have the opposite reaction. Oh, right. Um, okay. Like Ambien. Ambien's a, um, a sleeping pill that uh, gives people sometimes the uh, the sex craze. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. The other type of sleeping. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, sleep yeah. eating so that you'll, you'll take an Ambien and then get up, Eat get in your sleep. car, drive oh. to the local shops, shop, no. come back, eat. 
And then go back to bed and not realize that you've done anything. No. Oh, and have sex sleep. And then <laughs> sleep sex. Is there, is there yeah. any other kind? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's uh, maybe the way you're doing it, Tim. It's just my wife. Uh, but I think what you're supposed to do is uh, the last row of seats or the first row of seats where just before that wall. Yeah. You're supposed to call up and book that so your kid can get out of the seat and just have a little bit of a, yeah. a squirt around. But that's um, where you were sitting. <laughs> no, because this dude hadn't organised it. He was just directly behind me. And this kid screamed. I also oh. had that on the way back from uh, London. Oh. Yeah. All the way. Ooh. All the way. All the way. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah, that was uh, it was another time, another place. I feel like I don't believe you <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> that I've been know. to London or? No, no, yeah. just the kids True story. the whole way. True, 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 true story. 22 hours. It was a long time. Okay. Actually, they got off in Bali, those guys. Okay. Yeah, so that's You're most of the way here. home. Yeah. Uh, even with the uh, street Valium that I, that I purchased <laughs> from the <laughs> pharmacy. Are you sure it was Valium? Well, he sold it to me as Valium. Right. Yeah, they sell you everything over there. Right. It doesn't really matter. Do they? Don't, don't need a prescription? They don't care. No. 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 And Thanks, Doc. Mm. Oh, no, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> doctor. <laughs> yes. Uh, the other crazy thing, one of the crazy things I saw was um, when, because the, the father-in-law, we went with the father-in-law for a week. Mm. And um, have you ever been to the strip joint with your, with your wife and your father-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. It's weird. Mm. <laughs> no. 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 You really mustn't. No. No. Really no. Must go. It wasn't my idea, but uh, uh, we... Who, who, who's, whose idea was it? Uh, well, it's... It was, it was Yours. <laughs> <laughs> it was Cassie's. Uh, well, yeah, because I was going to say, I can't imagine Tim saying, hey... I want to take my daughter and her husband to a strip club. I think that's what was said. Yes, it was. And by the way, just for reference, um, Tim is sitting next to me. And my father-in-law is Tim. And my brother-in-law is is also also Tim. Tim. Sorry. So now you know. Uh, Yeah, I think it was Tim's idea. Um, Not me. (laughs) Not Tim. Not that one. (laughs) Is that even weirder? Is it weirder for him? Like taking his daughter to a strip club? Like, oh, you're the same age as her. I pulled the pin. Did you? Yeah, I was like, this is... Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you why I pull, pulled the pin. Ask me why I pulled the pin. Why'd you pull the why? pin? I'll tell you why I pulled the pin. One, uh, they all look exactly the same, as I, as I wrote in my notes. It's clone a stripper. Like, it, over here in Australia... Are you just being racist? Well, <laughs> it might come off a little bit. That Did you have to pull the pin with your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> if by a... pulling the pin, you mean my penis. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> right. um, the pin. Is it's that what you small. call it? <laughs> very, very, very small. That's not the visualisation I would be like, spreading around. No. Live no. on air. Live on. Uh, Just what? The right. pin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonzalez. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they, they all look, or they are either higher the same looking girl, which is which is weird. So the like they're typecasting. Yeah, they're yeah. very very they're much so. a good thing. Well, all the all Are the you ping sure pong they're girls, all the ping pong yes, girls. Well, you, that's the other thing. You don't know if they're mm. all some girls. of the best looking Thai girls I saw Are dudes were guys. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so all the all the. Ping pong girls are in the ping pong shows, so they're right. they're Did a different. Did you take your father-in-law to a ping pong? No, show? I took my wife though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, that's covered in the last episode. I yes, think there was a little bit of that. Yes, yes. 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 So when she texts me, so much to tell. <laughs> I'm going to get graphic details. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We saw a live sex show right at the end of the ping pong oh, show. Oh, really? I don't know if it was an actual sex show though. To be honest, be honest. but back to the strippers. Just um, we digress. So. They're, they're all dancing on stage, but they're not really dancing. They're sort of just like... Eh. Drunk sway. Drunk sway. Well, Drunk sway. they had Thai Valium. Yeah, really. that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm pretty sure this, the way they get paid uh, is... Uh, it was the most uh, demeaning thing I've seen in my life, I mm-hmm. think, was um, after about 20 minutes of drunk swaying, well, the bar manager gets a whole bunch of ones and fifties, or you know, bart the money, mm. and just fucking throws it up on stage like catch them if you can, and they all just <laughs> dive bomb and try to grab their tips, try to grab the money. Oh. All the girls, all the dancers. See, I think our Australian strippers are good. Like they work hard for their money. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Dan- they're, dance hard. Work they're hard. Da- yeah. Hard. Mm. They're good dancers. Die and, hard. You know, if they pull it up. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You got to mm-hmm. be flexible. You got to yeah, be strong. They're, they're athletes. Got to get on that pole, girls. Yeah, you never see a wasted one just swaying because she can't. Ooh, she's not going to get any money she's unless asked. you're into the wasted <laughs> strippers, which is which we don't like. endorse at all no. on this show. And fathers, keep your daughters off the pole. Yeah. Which pole? All of them. Okay, Joel. Uh, I'll, so write that, I'll write that into my um, Father of the Year journal. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other weird things were... <laughs> just started. <laughs> so just, that's her number one. Card. Number one. Yeah. Happy keep birthday. Stay away from the pole. Yeah. yeah. Keep, yeah. Off the pole. Keep, keep off the pole. Keep off the pole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because uh, you can't stay away from poles because poles are everywhere. There's a lot of poles over there, though. There's a lot of old poles. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Really gross. Really gross. <laughs> Uh, I've I mentioned that. <laughs> I mentioned that in the the really must go um, about Australians overseas need to um, lift their game. Right. They really they? need to lift their game. Yeah. In what sense? Well, have a bit of pride in your country. Wait, wait, wait! You're talking about Australians here. Yeah. In your like, presentation. In your presentation. <laughs> what you can't just wear like a Bing Tang. T-shirt. What is it? Bing, you know? Bing. Yeah, Bing like t- tank bang, type. Bang, tang, bang, tang. tang. Yeah. If they're bang, even yeah, wearing yeah. a T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, and, and no shirts. No shirts mm. because oh. they're all showing off their uh, head-to-toe tattoos. You see, ah, you of see. course. Yeah. All the body art. Body yeah. art. And I'm yeah. doing quotation marks. Yeah. Um, lots of tattoos. Lots of burnt skin. No hats. Put a hat on. Put yeah. a hat on. <laughs> uh, drink some water. I was in the elevator as we're leaving, and um, one of the Aussie guys uh, was shouting from the fifth floor down to his mates, what number are we in? What number are... He can, can't remember his, his room remember. number because he's yeah. been drinking for... Uh, he two said months. He said two weeks straight. He said, I've been shitting blood for three days. Oh, I, so he must be healthy, right? Yeah, he must be healthy. Um, oh you know when you're so healthy that you shit blood. Um, <laughs> I said, have a glass of water. And I yep. said, also, why don't you just go down to the local tattoo parlor and get your uh, room number tattooed on your arm like Momentum style because you've got so many of them, yeah. so it doesn't really so matter. Why don't yeah. you fuck off? Yeah, and then he punched me right in the throat. Right. Uh, not many people talk to you. That's that's do o- Aussies don't talk to... To other Aussies? Yeah, they don't. No, it's just... I don't like traveling with Aussies. No. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Who do you I like s- to... Well, uh, I spent the entire time in Thailand with Finnish people. Hmm. So and they were great. Know how to travel. They know how to travel. Mm. They know how to party. And they know how to finish. They know how to finish. <laughs> they know when to finish. <laughs> uh, but they but they're also lovely. Yeah. And they also sophisticated. But they spend more time talking to the Thais. Mm. You know, Australians like to hang out with Australians. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're getting that a lot. Uh, what country are you from? And we're saying Australia. And they're, oh, really? One guy said, oh, "What? Why are you so white?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, day, uh, we have uh, several layers of sunscreen on. Yeah. I'm wearing a hat, a yeah. shirt, yeah. collared shirt. We call it slip, slop, slap where we come from. Mm. 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 And uh, on the Australian theme, the Anzac Day, ah, yes. which is kind of part of the mission of the whole <laughs> trip, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, Big Timmy Cav, father-in-law, uh, goes over with for Anzac Day with his homeboys. With his uh, homeboys? Just, yeah, with his homies, uh, just to do the Anzac spirit sort of thing. Did right? he Every year. Oh, he goes there? to different... Oh, uh, he, was, he was signed up to go to Vietnam. He was yep. like... Good enough. He was two <laughs> seconds away. Two right. seconds away okay, from okay, going yeah. and the, uh, the fucking war ended. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, um, so he spent most of the war sitting on his ass waiting to go. Uh, At the train station yeah, back in those waiting, days. Just yeah. waiting. Where is this war? I think he was, he was trained up and then uh, just, you know... Never finished it. it. No, That's finished how. It. Yeah. Uh, no, they go to different places. They don't go to, to the same place every mm-hmm. time. But um, went to the cool. Hellfire Pass, where the the Japanese were um, taking a lot of prisoners of war and making them cut through rock and whatnot to, yeah. for trains and stuff. So mm. yeah, mm. there's there's no real joke in there. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Wait I'm laughing you. though. So we walked yeah. the um, we walked the path, Cass and I, and mm. uh, you know, yeah, that was that. That is all. That was right. that. That is all. Um, Any other questions? No, uh, no, no. good chat. No. Oh, I tell you what, um, the the ocean is like bath water. Yeah, it's gross. It's very, mm. fun, very, very, very yeah, hot. It's 48 degrees, and then Indeed. you get into the ocean, and it's 38 degrees. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, unswimmable. 
Yeah, it's gross. Plus all the poo that's in the water. Why is there poo in the water? Well, you know. Where did you go? We went to Koh Samui. We oh, went, of course to you went to Koh Bangkok. Samui. We went yeah. to. Patang, Patang. Patang, Patong. Patchouli uh, Chang. <laughs> we went all over the shop. But yeah. um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure St Kilda Bay mm. uh, was still getting. Shite pumped into it up until the no- into the nineties. What do you mean? Still, they still say it, when it rains in Melbourne, you don't swim in the bay. Oh god! When it rains, it pours. Yeah. So why would I go into <laughs> some some country that has uh, zero no, sanitation, no yeah. laws, lawless yeah. country? Mm. Apart from all the laws, <laughs> uh, pour, pour it in all the drug pour laws. They've got yeah. drug laws, drug laws, and make sure you bribe the cops laws yeah. when you, your taxi driver's just driving down the road and he gets pulled over, and then the cop just goes, you "Give me the see, see my motorbike over there. Go put money in it." Oh. What? Yeah. Did that happen to you? That happened. Five hundred. No, I just I just made it up. Five hundred baht, which is what did you uh, do? like five hundred baht? Yeah. Isn't it like three dollars fifty? No, it's uh sixteen bucks. Oh, okay. Sixteen bucks Australian. That's which is a like lot. A, what a packet f- of cigarettes is like yeah. three bucks over yeah. there. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot yeah. of money. Three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> so well, there you go. There you go. So there's Thailand there's trip. So mm. that kind of rounds up the whole trip thing. Yes. With this and the other show. Yes, mm. that's yes. quite good. And if you have any other questions, I know that Dan was, uh, you guys were talking about in one of the up- other episodes, the fear of flying mm-hmm. and the, the takeoff and the landing. And uh, yes. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you want to evaluate? In the, uh, uh, evaluate? I find it uh, petrifying. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. It doesn't face me. Mm. No. I believe no. in modern science. I'm fine with it. It's basically an air bubble, isn't it? That just. Goes faster oh, than then pressurized, like an iron, oh. like an, an iron bubble. air bubble, <laughs> an iron yeah. air bubble, yeah. pressurized. Yeah. Uh, just, I'm always sitting on the wing, and it's very rattly. And then the, um, you should sit in the plane. <laughs> oh, yeah, should have brick. I'll try that next time. Too many dad yeah. jokes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it's very cold out here. Yeah, so you're not welcome on the podcast anymore. No. Too many kind of. I ordered the enough. vegetarian meal. <laughs> Actually, the meals weren't. Uh, I ate one. <laughs> I ate a meal on wow. a plane for the first time. Mm. 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 And uh, sicknesses? Uh, yeah, it got crook right at the end um, because you got a mouth breathe, not nostril breathe. What do you and mean? Then just <gasps> breathing <gasps> through your mouth. When? when when so, you go, don't, so you don't have to inhale all the stank. exotic stanks. What, what, it smells so traveling? bad through the nostrils that oh, uh, your mouth sure. breathes, so right. you can't get all the all the smell. And I think yeah. after two weeks of that, and just eating out every you know three four times a day, like food roulette, it is, yeah. it is. Mm. Um, you just get crook. Mm. You just get crook. Mm. Cheap beers. Uh, a lot of beers. Yeah. A lot of beers. That that doesn't help the immunity. That's why you're drinking the old... Uh, tea. 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 Right. Um, and, you know, listening back to a few of the podcasts where I may have had a few beers and um, <laughs> may not have been up to my... I, I, I have some regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I have some edits in mind. Yep. 62, uh, 62 regrets. Uh, yep. What episode is this, Tim? I think 60... This is episode four? 64. 64? Yeah. yeah, so 62 regrets. Yeah. But, uh, you know... So we're kind of approaching the end of the season, almost. Ah, uh, yes. So I dare to say that our concept kind of stood the test of time, really. It's not too bad. A new, a new format, you format. mean. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I wanted to touch on uh, Katie's baby, though. <laughs> okay, little, that just sounded little... all creepy. Can yeah. we get a bit of an update? A bit of an update. Yeah. Uh... How's the date? Is it still up or is it prolapsed? Sorry. The date? <laughs> yeah. I don't say prolapsed to, <laughs> to a pregnant woman. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Good. good. 23 weeks. Yep. Size of a papaya this week. Oh, right. Yeah. Because right. yeah, they do relate it all to food. All back to, to food, foods. which is really mm. annoying because then you're like, oh, I feel like a papaya now. Yeah. Um, uh, what well, else? 500 papaya. grams. Yeah. 28 yeah. centimetres long. 500 any, grams. Uh, any strange cravings? No. Milk. 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 Which is quite amusing because um, your husband, Matt, when we were Drinks. growing up. two litres of milk a day. Two litres of milk a day. I have never been a milk drinker. Specifically Rev. Oh, Strong God, bones, I hate, hate Rev. 
But now I drink a lot of it. Right. It's great. Mm, <laughs> so you've definitely got. Uh, it's, definitely, definitely, it's definitely. It's definitely. His. It's definitely a Holdsworth yeah. baby. Is it yeah. calcium? Is that? Is it the true? Is it? Is we'll the calcium know. thing, or we'll is that know. just a wives' tale? It's kind of no, thing like they do say because I've got this list of things on the fridge, and it says if you're craving. You know, chocolate, vodka, blah blah blah. Mm. This is what your body's actually deficient in, ah. and this is what you should eat instead. So the vodka thing is because you're bored, yeah, because you're not drinking anymore. <laughs> you is know, that... I'm actually dying for a dirty martini. Ooh. Like really, yeah. <laughs> I've seen women drink while they're pregos. Well, you know? did you judge them? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But for behind closed doors, I mean, yeah. when Matt goes out, you could just. Have a neck a <laughs> bottle of vodka. Uh, well, you know, he can't smell it on my breath either. But true, true. when my baby comes out less than intelligent. Mm, you'll know it's a Holsworth. <laughs> aha, aha, <laughs> aha. We were talking about the calcium. Is it a myth or is yes. it not? We're a little bit of a weird, weird science. Because mm. um, you work in the dentist industry mm. somewhat. Yep. The fluoride in the water. Yes. Is it legit? What do you is mean? it doing anything for us? Yeah, or is it just mind control? I grew up on tank water and mm. my teeth are bad. Mm. Oh. Like my teeth are really susceptible to, you know, Filth. cavities and things like weak, that. Weak teeth. Weak teeth. Wow. It's yeah. probably a good, good uh, move getting um, into the dentistry then because, you know, so get cheap. So if you've got discount. weak teeth because of that, do, does the fluoride strengthen them? Yeah. Now? Because it's strength. Well, no. Well, I think once it's done, it's done. Once oh. your enamel is, oh. it is. So you can't get oh. like... Um, that makes me lick my teeth. <laughs> fluoride, fluoride bubble gum well, or something. No, you put, th- you've got shit. fluoride in your toothpaste and stuff like that. Yeah, right. Can you clean your tooth with a five cent piece? I don't think so. <laughs> right, Why? I'll stop doing that. <laughs> Is charcoal a uh, natural word? toothpaste? Yes. 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 Actually, yeah. yeah. I just got um, I bought the black. Have you seen the black toothpaste on TV? Mm. That you brush your teeth and it makes your teeth come up really white. Haven't used it yet, obviously. Is it margarine? Because margarine is black what? before it, they turn is it yellow. It? Didn't you know that? No, it comes out black. Weird science. Dun, dun. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah they because it's oil. Margarine is basically oil mixed with butter. Mm. Yeah, but they do. They put it through an extra process to make it yellow oh, to make that's it. Just uh, they dye it white and then they dye it yellow. Yeah, I think that's oh, right. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. And in some countries, uh, the butter, big butter, big uh, butter corp, big butter corp. Um, now, I'm just trying to go through my um, feeble mind. The mice are just going around and around. Jeremy's internal Google machine. Yes. In some states in America, they're not allowed to sell margarine unless it's dyed pink. So you can actually tell it's margarine, not butter. Yes. There's a big, um, there's a big, uh, look, look up some, some stuff about I margarine know. versus Although we're, butter. We're, I come from a butter household, so. Better butter? Better, no, Lurpak butter? Yeah. yeah. Danish butter. So you can believe it's not butter. Um, yeah, well. The margarine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. What about this Nuttalex? What's Nuttalex? You don't know Nuttalex? No. No, you, you guys turned, turned us on to the. Uh, to the Lurpak su- scene. The super duper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five bucks, five bucks for two hundred and fifty grams, but it's amazing. Rich Jesus. creamery butter. Yeah, Ooh. but you can get it from Costco. Mum now buys me one kilo things from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Mum? <laughs> Matt just stands there in the fridge <laughs> eating it with milk. a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. White bread, low pack. It's amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. He loves There's his a dairy. Food tip for everybody. Mm. Yeah. What'd you mm. put in the food, you stupid bitch? <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Not you. Um, the segment. <laughs> also heard on the way over here, um, a baby has one cup, like a cup worth of blood in it when oh. it's born. Mm. Only one cup. We have seven pints. Okay. Wow. Um, what's mm. that in fruit or food terms? Because um, uh, all babies are measured in, uh, what are you saying, Well, a fruits? papaya. Mm. Papaya. So that'd be I don't a, think it's uh, going to be a... Gram. So that's a big pie, isn't it? A meat pie from the shops. That's All this him. baby talk's making me hungry. <laughs> 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 I ate a baby. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Well, congratulations. The, the um, morning sickness is over. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. over. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, cool. Worst hangover of my life. <laughs> yeah. It lasted yeah. four and a half months. <laughs> Bad for your teeth as well. Oh. The vomiting. Yeah. Mm. That's, yeah. That's the double weakness right there. Maybe that's why I'm Throwing up and tank water. Yeah. Mm. The two things mm. that you mm. can do the most. Yeah.
Maybe that's why my teeth are so fucked. Tank water? All the spewing. You, you, oh. do, you do spew a little bit. I have yeah. seen you spew yeah. a few I'm times. I'm a phantom spewer. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes not so phantom me. Just all ever, over ever the table. Quietly, phantom, though. Ever done quiet, a, always quietly. You're always I always quiet. know when it's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Ever done a um, phantom dance floor vomit? Uh, oh. <laughs> No, no as I say, Tim, I uh, can. I, the, the, I know when it's. I no. know when I've had had my gut full, and uh, I've, I've, I've I've gone too far again. Jez, yeah. Jez has gone too far. Okay. Okay. And it's a purge. Now I've got to remember who it was. <laughs> I think it was Daniels and I were. Now I don't want to put Daniels in the in. Now put him in. Put him in. Put him in. Daniels gets and I, we're, at yeah. Go, we're at Goo <laughs> Metro. Oh, oh and God, we're there with Filthy <laughs> Phil. So, filthy yeah, Phil. filthy Phil, um, and oh, we're walking down those big stairs yeah. in, the, uh, in the foyer. There, you know, come down the stairs. No, walking with Dan. No, coming down, and then um, uh, Filthy was behind Dan, and oh. he's just he's just done a power yak all over <laughs> Dan's back. <laughs> <laughs> like you've seen how big that foyer is. Oh, oh no, all over Dan. Couldn't if just go to the Dan, left. If it wasn't Dan, it was one of those other jerk offs, and then probably pashed. Ten chicks after that. Oh, yeah, probably. Gross. It was um, it was a meat market. Oh, it was. Yes, disgusting. and I was the head butcher. Were you? Uh, no, Dan. <laughs> Dan was pretty good. <laughs> Dan was, I don't know how. The, I don't know how we did it. It was like Thursday nights. We were all in high school, mm. and somehow managed to go go there, get in. There was a guy that, um, and then make it to school the next day. There was a guy. I remember they they. Girl from the girl from Park had some overalls. Oh, yes. That chick we Carly, went, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we um, knew her from some school thing ages ago. And her little brother mm-hmm. got Vanessa's ah, yes. ID to pass off as him. He had very long <laughs> black hair. She's a very girly <laughs> oh, looking boy. So and worked every time. Really? Yep. Yeah, and he had Passed a- himself off as Vanessa Ma. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you know, he I was on, he um, take on the, uh, the Vanessa <laughs> thing. That's Do you know who he is? That is weird. He's that's somebody why I was now. So attracted to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's he, someone now. Yeah, he was on. Oh, a, no, he a, was on the ABC show. No, he was on the. Does that make him? He was someone? on the. He was on the boat with the, the boat. The Aussie guy that sailed around. The young guy that sailed around Australia. Yeah. He was on the around the second, world. Second Matthew sailor. Flinders. Maybe Matthew <laughs> Flinders. <laughs> um, <laughs> ha ha. Uh, uh, no, the other guy. Um, Jesse. Jesse. In my James. head, I keep thinking Spencer, Jesse. but he's from Neighbours. Jesse. It was Jesse. He sailed. Aussie Jesse. guy. Mm. Jesse. Mm. Jesse. Mangy. How's that Google working? <laughs> <in your head>? <laughs> 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 the mice need <laughs> some revs uh, and cheese. Was on that? And they um, end up turning around because there were it's too much fighting. Pirates. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there was also he, he was too much infighting. Yeah, that's my that's my. Um, oh, was there um, mutiny on the two? Tube. <laughs> the two, <laughs> the two person mutiny yacht. on the Jesse M <laughs> boat. He was also on an What's ABC his name? Is it Jesse ABC Martin? show. No, Jesse Martin was no. Jesse no, he Martin. Was, he was a murderer, wasn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's too anyway, much. Why don't, anyway. we, uh, why don't we go uh, have a break and um, uh, look it up? Look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. Sounds Come good. back right after these very Breaks. quick message. Uh, there you go, Bob. Uh, half a kilo of grapes and the uh, Woman's Weekly for your uh, lovely wife, uh, Edna. Oh, thanks, Rex. Uh, by the way, Bob, uh, do you realise you have an erection right now? Oh, yeah. I suffer from IED. 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 Is involuntary erection disorder affecting your life? You've probably got an erection right now. Hi, I'm Rudolf Bernstein, owner and CEO of the Involuntary Erectile Disorder Academy. Do you get erections at the wrong time? Funerals, weddings, bar mitzvahs, or corporate speaking events? Here at IED Academy, we can assist you and stop dead in its tracks. The life-shattering, embarrassing, soul-depleting, involuntary erection disorder. How? We use rubber mallets, mind-altering turn-offs such as reruns of MASH, Full House, and Growing Pains to not only subdue your IED desires, but to crush and deplete, temporarily, your IED desires. It's not hard. Get that erection into a U direction. Erectile Dysfunction Academies will not be responsible for any blood loss. I can definitely relate to that because I am rock hard right now. Right. Inappropriate. Yes. Voluntary. Yes. Purely voluntary. I need some of that shit. Oh, what? Some of the... (laughs) 
So what I try to do is relate uh, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, ad yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have seamless. an erection. I don't have an erection. That. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, would it be inappropriate to have uh, an erection at the strippers with your father-in-law oh, oh and God, your wife? Goodness. Yes. I'll have to remember that. Yes, just I a just hot I just feel dip. that maybe it's more inappropriate for him. I reckon it's worse because he was there with his daughter. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like you're in the clear a little uh, bit. There was a buffer zone. There was a, a couple of his friends as well. Right. So and his wife, the other wife. So yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Martin. <laughs> Jesse Martin was the sailor. Yes. It's weird what's in my brain. It, but like, you got that right. Spot I know, on. Yeah. It was but great. it's like, why though? I don't. You know, why have I retained yeah. that bit of information? It's the I, hamsters and stuff. And I can't and remember mm. where I parked my car at the station. <laughs> or pin number. No, Do you I'm get, pretty good on pin numbers. It's the same number. I get that pin numbers, man. same number all the time. So mm. I thought, because my bank always changes it. Every new car, they're giving a new bloody pin number. Nah. Yeah. And I can't that choose it. Which bank well. are you with? Oh, well, uh, flippity sticks. Oh, right. <laughs> the, uh, the wank bank. Yeah, yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is the second half of the show where, yep. we, where we explore a movie theme, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. off that theme we get scenes from that, the movie that we've remembered or something, yeah, or something like that. And then we um, basically look on the internet <laughs> and <laughs> copy and paste ideas of stories that reflect those mm-hmm. scenes mm-hmm. to try and build up a. Is this so that we don't have to do a movie show, but we have content each week? In the Very second half of the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now that you yeah, say yeah. that, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. Sort of um, art imitating life, life imitating art. Right, right, right. um, so this is kind of a, this is kind of close to all of us. Mm. This, mm. Uh, mm. this one. We've all been here. Not cho- so there. much the movie, but Everyone. the themes. I chose this one this week. Oh, you did? did you? you did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Oh, you've got to see this movie. I was saying to Tim, I, ca- I just can't sit through a whole movie. I can watch 16 episodes mm. of a series, but I can't watch one movie. Would it help if Tim, like, chopped it up on a video line and, and made it into a yeah. half would hour, 22? <laughs> would it help if I did extra work <laughs> just to make your um, lives? You're really not yeah, doing enough for I the podcast, Tim. I think my attention span is so short that because I get a whole movie in 30 minutes mm. on a TV show... Mm. I, and then I can keep watching it because otherwise I lose track. Like, I'll get up, I'll do washing, I'll take the dog for a walk, come back, and I'm like, oh, this movie makes no sense. And Matt's well, like, that's... because you haven't fucking watched yeah, any yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's well, what we're going to do. Credits already. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to chop that up into 22 I'll, minute bits I, for you. Like, yeah. I fall asleep 10 minutes into it. Well, yeah, no, that's you know, a big the best problem. way. The best way yeah. of, of seeing a chopped up version of it is mm. the trailer. Oh, sure. that's you know? true. Yeah, they, the best they tell you everything. They tell Especially you everything. 80s movies, they tell you everything mm. in it. Yeah, all the best jokes, mm-hmm. all the best scenes. I think yeah. that yeah. hasn't changed. I think that's the same shit now. Yeah. Do we get trailers? No, we do get trailers. Yeah, of course we do. We do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the trailers are huge, man. Okay. It's big, right. no big doubt, business. No big right. business. Can't mm-hmm. wait for the next trailers. Mm-hmm. Uh, big, everyone big wants the trailers. So, renovating. Is the overall theme of this movie? And house-related things. Yep, yep. Um... I've renovated my house. Mm. Mm-hmm. You've definitely renovated your house. Yes. You, you guys. We had the shittest house. I dare to mm. say that your story is closer to this story. Of yeah. The story. I, no, but we knew what we were getting into. My mm. understanding of the movie is that they thought they, they were getting a gem. Okay. And, mm. then, yeah, and then it just turned out and not then to it, be. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dan, will, Dan will argue because you guys had a had bought in the same street. You Dan guys, and I you did. We were neighbours yeah. for Can I only, only a like, year. Only like a yeah. year. Yeah. If Dan was a reality show, he'd surely be uh, house flippers. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> he, uh, they, they did really well on so, that house. So let's break it down. So, <laughs> so I was just going to say, sorry, Tim, to uh, talk over you there. Um, he would argue that he had the shittest house in Clayton. Can I just Clayton. say that there is a house flippers, and it's like this guy with blonde hair, and his girlfriend who looks Alaskan slash Japanese, and it ah, could totally, oh yeah, it could yeah, totally it could be Danos. Totally be Danos. Yes, the Danos flipping stick, and they've got kids as well. Like it could actually be, but they're American. I think they're from Texas. Okay, yeah, renovated flipping sticks. Uh, yeah. Dan's story because I know he'll want to like his house was. I mean, your house is. Hang on, pretty. Fucked. Our plaster fell off the walls and the possums ate through the weatherboards and played peekaboo. <laughs> like, I think, and we had mushrooms oh, growing good. Fungi. mostly through Ooh, our whole house. Yeah. 
Definitely. And remember the bathroom? There was no bathroom. It was just a hole in the middle of the house. Yeah. The floor. Hmm. Yeah. Dan's, that was the, like this film. That was sort <laughs> of like Dan's, Dan's <laughs> bathroom as well. He, he was having a shower during the day and he saw sunlight coming through the plug hole. Oh, really? <laughs> he stuck his head under the house and there was just no so- pipe. Soapy water <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just going yeah. down just, the plug hole. Just, just Dan, down onto Dan. the ground. Oh. And uh, so dumb. Yeah, he fixed it with a uh, Coke bottle, I think. Oh, and uh, the Coke bottle filled up like that. <laughs> yeah, he made a pipe out of Coke bottles, and that yeah, is yeah. so. No, funny. you're talking about the '90s, right? Ah, uh, this is like last oh. year. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, yes, you really turned that house around. We did. It's, it's um, actually a it's lovely, beautiful house. It's great. lovely, yes. lovely house. Yeah. All the fittings and all the job. Mm. great job. Mm. So you can bring a a rancid house back into. Reality, yeah. If you yeah. have some skills and yeah, friends. you burn it down mm. and you yes. start again. Yeah. Get the insurance but you, but money. you did have that option of the tear down, but you've opted to just build off the. There was a moment of pulling staples from the old lino out of the floor, mm-hmm. thousands mm-hmm. of them, mm-hmm. until four in the morning. Yep. That I went, let's burn. Let's burn. Yeah. <laughs> let's just start let's again. Just take the insurance money and go to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we didn't. The bare bones of the house is good. It was great. Hard it was wood, a great, good floors. Good layout. Yeah, we didn't yeah. change the layout no. really. Yeah. So so Denos is a is a build it flip it. I'm a um I'm a I'm a build it um, stick it s- stick to it. Yeah. yeah. Um you We're the same. We Yeah, I think you did, we did the move. same kind of thing, but you guys did from cuz I just added on to my house. Mm. So I I actually did the traditional renovate mm. or extension mm. more mm. of. You full renovation from the ground up. Yeah. And you 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 build them. Well, I, I used to build them. Uh, mm. we're, we're, for our house, we're kind of in limbo at the moment. We're just we're just biding our time, and then we're either going to tear it down or mm. yeah. I do you remember yeah. when you first moved in the um, the divots throughout your hardwood floors? Oh, from the strippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. horde yeah. of strippers. It was strippers. like that. It was like I the, remember um, Jeremy saying, "We we'll fix the floors. Take your fucking shoes off. Like <laughs> I'm not even wearing stilettos. <laughs> take them off." off. Put the stilettos on, yeah. walk around in circles for a bit, and then take them off. Well, that's I, what it looked like when, yeah. when you first moved in. Yeah. I remember having a butter knife and gouging jelly babies out of your cupboards. <laughs> Cass and I were cleaning your cupboards and scrubbing, and there was like solid yeah. jelly beans in the crap. We were trying to <laughs> dig out. Wow. It was The yeah. kitchen was, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, bad. pretty manky. And um, yeah. so in, uh, in your renovating, I guess you, you said the uh, possums with the peekaboo. Yeah. Mm. Any special traits found in the walls? Well, Any little things? I don't know. Not treats. Or so. We did. Well, we had that treats. whole whole family living, love mm. possums living in a house. And the last one, so we got all of them out. The last one Matt stared at as it ran down the hallway and went, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and the next day we found it dead underneath the floor of the house. <laughs> stared at the death. He stared, stared at death. He gave it the death stare, the oh, literal yeah. death stare. I guess that's better than his other method of um, extracting possums out of walls like at um, his mum's house. I don't know this story. Oh, they were trying oh. to, trying to, they could hear the possum and they were doing the, doing the good thing to... Um, to, am I allowed to say this story? Because I know I know we said it in another episode. Oh. We had to cut took it. Took it out. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I might be horrified. Do I need to divorce my husband? <laughs> yeah. I, sure. I, I support sure. Animals yeah. Australia yeah. and Peter. Like, am I going to be? Well, it was no. scratching about. Let's do the right thing. Let's get it out of there. We're not going to be yeah. able to climb down the wall. Let's just cut it out of the wall. Cut, cut, oh, cut, cut, shit. cut, and then, then then they cut through the possum. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> oh uh, shall terrifying. I wait? I've got like nineteen possum stories. No, I'll not just to. pick. I'll just pick one. Just right. one, Tim. Yeah. Uh, so I was living at Mum and Dad's. Yeah. I was going through the possum war of uh, two thousand. I imagine uh, that they would because they're right on that parkland, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And lots of possums like, and lots of lots yeah. of holes in roofs. So mm. I was doing the right thing. So you find a hole during the day, you plug it up, you leave a tile open, they, they cry as well, you go block up there and the, you, know, you block on the yeah. tile, they get back in and you go through the process again. Yeah. So that was the, that was the possum wars. I wasn't killing possums until uh, <laughs> did. I did accidentally, <laughs> accidentally. Uh, him in there. It was right next to our, um, they somehow got down the wall and then was like on the, on the um, skirting board, mm. like right down the bottom. And... So you'd be tapping away, tappity tap, tap, tap all night. Mm. Uh, so I went, right, I know where he's getting in. I'll do the trick, block the hole, go through the system. Um, and I thought 
he was out, mm. but he wasn't. And so mm. I filled up the cavity with expanding <gasps> foam. <Yeet>. And <laughs> he was still in there. What did you do? Well, what he, he died. Oh, that is horrible. And it was the middle of summer. That's a horrible, horrible It death. was terrible. It was like, terrible. Like, you know those dreams you have where the walls literally close yeah. in on you? Star and Wars. the room it gets smaller and smaller mm. and smaller and then... I'm a terrible person. Oh, trash ca- you trash compacted him. Yeah, I did. That is horrible. That is terrible. We might have to cut that one out as well. <laughs> nope. Nah, nope. That's it. I'm in charge of that. Because I, I did a little bit of a search on, um, because when you're pulling panels off walls and mm. you always kind of hope that you find something. Like, I'm sure you've found, you've, your newspapers. You've old got newspapers, some bottles and things. Old bottles. I collection. found a bowling ball. A bowling ball. A bowling ball under a floor. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, in a wall. Jeez. Yeah, I found some stuff. No money, though, unfortunately. Okay, because there has been people that have found money, of mm. course. Yeah. Mm. Um, one one couple found a 50-year-old safe hidden in their kitchen wall. Oh, yeah. Oh. And it had um, $51,080 <gasps> in it, mm. mostly in $100 notes. You know, and I, a bottle of bourbon from 1960. I can relate oh, yeah. to this because I feel like my grandma, because she's, bless her heart, she's starting to lose her shit. Mm. And I feel like that's going to happen. Like she's going to hide cash places yeah. and we're going to have to... Treasure work, hunt. Treasure hunt. And the next people who move into her house are going to go, oh, oh. <laughs> 150 grand. 150 grand. <laughs> yeah, cash. In this, this is a, this is, I love it. Yeah. This next one's a secret fantasy of mine. I've, I've dreamt of it many times where you... Um, where you Dream that there's an extra room in your house. Mm. You do you? Sort of, oh, all the time. All oh. the time. You don't. You don't clean your house, do you? I. No, that's no. my worst nightmare. An extra room. <laughs> yeah. An extra bathroom. Yeah, an extra room to clean. And it's yeah. a ballroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, White floors. Yeah. In <laughs> Bel in Bel Air, California, a couple spotted a strange area beneath their bathroom vanity. What? And mm. so they must have been fixing up the bathroom, and mm. there's like a little. One of those weird door okay. things. Yeah. Mm. And after pushing onto the space, they found um, uh, a little sort of hidden servant's kitchen. Oh, yeah. Um, How big sort was of like, it? It, it? Well, it kind of went into the basement. Oh. So they must have boarded it up and kind of left it. Yeah, there. sure. Yeah. But it was, um, it had been on their property the whole time. They'd been there for years and years and years. And um, it was full of old relics. Old stuff. Crap. <laughs> yeah, or servants stuff. My dad had a house and it had the same thing. So in the laundry, there was a door that got into the hot water service. Mm. Like it, that was kind of in the cupboard. But then uh, behind that, there was also another door that went into the stair, like underneath the stairs. Mm. Okay. And so that was like, so we didn't know it was there until we were playing hide and seek as kids. Mm. And we were like, yeah. <coughs> but it was dark and it was yeah, pretty, it's a bit but it was all boarded in. Like you would keep your small child yeah, in there, like or your your horror um, movie, it's the mm, horror movie tale, mm. and you open the door and you, you let it out. I was going to say that's where you'd uh, in the seventies stash your porn. Would you? Yeah. It, it, or your uh, or your <coughs> comics, like um, excuse me. These guys have knocked down a wall and um, found a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar. Issue one of Superman. I have heard of people who do that. Like underneath the house, you find, or in the roof, in the attic and stuff like that. In my house. If you're going to find any comic, that's the one. Mm. Superman. Yeah. Mm. What about uh, those the ones in, I think it was Turkey or something? I think we mentioned this on a podcast where they, um, same sort of deal, knocked the wall down and then there was an underground cave system that yeah. was like oh. thousands of years old that had been. That's cool. Yeah, underground city called. <laughs> <laughs> that was in yeah. the 60s, so that's old yeah. news. Old well, news. In one home, a figurine of a former Russian Caesar. Is that oh. what you call it? Yeah. Zar. 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 Because it's C. Zar. 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 Uh, was found. And then they auctioned it off for $5 million. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, and then when you were in the, uh, when we first, you, you first moved in here and I stuck my uh, noggin up into your crawl space <laughs> and found that Batman mask. Yes. Oh, that's not at all creepy. Where, but I took it up, I <laughs> took it up to the, um, the toy trader and he 
salivated. Yes. Um, I'll give you 550 bucks for that right but now. No, 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 no. What no. the hell was Batman doing in your roof? Yeah. Yeah. Batman's such a creep. Batcave. Yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> such a creep. Yeah. Out of all of them, like, he's the yeah. darkest, creepiest superhero. He's creepiest. Yeah, fuck. he's fucked just, up. Yeah, yeah. He's fucked up. He's got his little, you know, den, I mean, his lair down there. Yeah, no. You've got to slide down his pole to get there and, you know. Rodent. He's a rodent. Yeah. He's the rodent he's of got the his superheroes. Little, he's got his little boy, his little <laughs> Robin <laughs> boy down boy. there. And his old man. In the crawl space <laughs> yeah. underneath the steps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's creepy. Oh, creepy, yeah. Here's another one. Um, one couple found an archaeolog- uh, archaeological treasures buried under the house. The treasures were over 2,000 years old. Yeah. We did find... Um, wasn't in Australia, was it? No, but we found some <laughs> Aboriginal um, he- uh, axe heads and yep. stuff down our sideway. Did mm. you? Yep. Just here? Not, not here at uh, Mum and Dad's place. Oh. Mm. Yeah, they turned mm. out to be legit. Yeah. It brings that whole Indian burial ground thing. Yeah. You know that you'd freak out totally. as, as a the kid. Horror movie sure. thing. Yeah. It's the horror movie thing. Yeah. Like this the this one, the couple that found a medieval well underneath their floor. I saw the picture of it. It was like, exactly like um the ring. Have you seen oh, the ring? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh so god. Scary. And anything with medieval in it is yeah. like Cryo Castle. I hate that place. So you don't like that place? <laughs> <I hate Kryle Castle. laughs> Good raves though. We went to some awesome raves. Oh, you know, I couldn't go to the raves because when I was little, Dad took me to Cryo Castle because my grandparents were in Ballarat, mm. and he was like, "Let's go on this education." We'd been to Sovereign Hill. Let's go to Cryo Castle, and I like just. Spent the whole time like, looking, like let's visit the torture chambers. Let's, I, do, <laughs> I do admit the first time. So when everyone was like, "Let's go to a rave," I was like, "There is no way I'm getting the castle that freaks me out." Yeah, true. Like I will be post like the girl standing on top Look, of the roof about to jump. Full disclosure: I only went to the rave for the music, but um, you know whatever you oh, want to do. Sorry. Uh, we, did do we did. We went to <laughs> Carl me Castle. sing like the trash bag. We went to Carl Castle as um, children, and that was the first time I ever saw a public hanging. <laughs> True that. True it's that. Didn't it, like, but, it really uh, it was just pretty real. It made me. It was the ones you know where they they like is it draw and quarter. You know when uh, you're yeah. on the machine and they stretch you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, like that the stretchy, thing. stretchy bang bang, and there stretchy was one, ouchies, ouchie, right. ouchie there stretches. There was one where it had spikes all over it, and mm. you they would roll you on the spikes. That's the and, Iron Maiden, babe. Oh, yeah. and I Excellent. just was I was like, can't we just go and watch the Blacksmith again, Dad? No, <laughs> we've got to go through this one. Yeah. Like I just want to. Can we go no, the, no, the, no, I've got to scare you for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is the eighties, so. Oh. Or was it the 90s? I don't it know how old you were. It was the 90s. They, oh, early, early 90s, surely. Uh, they shut that place 90s. down and they, they were going to try to sell it to... It was going to be a um, sex... Rave? BS, a B's, SDM, oh. best, best, best... You just said... In show. A, a, dog show. A, a B&B. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A B&B. Yeah, it was going to be a sex sex place. A sex B&B. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A hotel. For Torture like old, stuff. like, for old retired couples yeah. who, yeah. like, are bored in their marriage. All the guys that were in uh, Thailand. <laughs> Foldy, <laughs> roldy, ray, do, day. <laughs> uh, so was that related to <laughs> finding stuff the movie in the movie somehow? Was no, it was just that? pulling, because they, they pull a lot of panels off their walls. It was renovating. Stuff, so it was, yeah. always, yeah. Renovating story. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still tied into the renovating. <laughs> okay, well, I've got one. Uh, the first day... Uh, I worked for our brother, and we were doing a big renovation. And the guy was a bit of a, a bit of a hippie, and his uh, brainiac idea was uh, for thermal um, thermal uh, mass. <laughs> and so he um, he got into RC cola. You know, RC cola. Uh, it was an old <laughs> it was an old drink. Oh, right. um, and the diet flavour wasn't great. It wasn't selling too well. So too much ass. Too much ass. Eh? <laughs> and uh, so the, the dude lined this room full of cans. What? Full like cans? He, so he got he full. got like a crate, like a one of those pallet, pallet, no, but pallets. Shipping, pallets. shipping What's container. What's the weird pallet. science behind that? Well, it's thermal mass, so like the can heats up and re- retains the heat. But it's cold, so in well, winter it cools down. Well, how long to the, to the breaches? Well, Steve did a bit of bit of a search and called up Coke and said, "How long does your, do your cans last?" And they go, "Look, anywhere between five to sixteen years, and then they can start just instantly exploding." <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy's not a good house, idea. this guy's house it does not exist anymore, no doubt. No. Yeah. Um That's funny. stupid. Up Use some insulation. Up to his ankles in RC cola. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
That's to the extreme, isn't it? That's um, extreme. That's a weird thing so, to do. Um, Moody's weird science. What's uh, something directly from the movie where the where the bathtub I have falls got one through the, uh, through yeah. through the floor there? <laughs> I've got one. Uh, this is a little thing that uh, Tim sent me, so thanks. Uh, so it reads, Oh my God, help me. My bathtub fell into the kitchen. <laughs> I was having a bath and heard a crack. And the whole... <gasps> He was in the bath. <laughs> and then the whole tub started to squeak. And the next thing I knew, I was f- falling into the kitchen. I fell through the floor with the tub. And the tub crashed into the sink in the kitchen. And there's water pouring everywhere. So that must be a... Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, well, don't get onto the internet and, and ask for advice. Um, <laughs> Call the plumber. Is that like, you know, on Lethal Weapon, when the bomb goes off? You know yes. how you always jump in the bathtub? Yeah. Oh, Does yeah. the same apply? Like, if you're going to fall through a roof, do you want to be in get the bathtub? Yeah, yeah. Do. Or do you want to not be anywhere near the falling bathtub? Okay, a bit of weird science. Mm. It's full of water. Does it cushion your, uh, your fall <laughs> if it falls know. straight down? <laughs> And if it's a metal tub. And does the water fall at the same rate as the bathtub? Like, or does... Ah. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. We get pretty technical. It is really science We're getting, get, yeah. getting deep in there. Mm. Uh, pregnant Joe ten, ten tons plans for her baby's uh, arrival fell through... Uh, fuck. How about I start that again? How about... Yeah. Pregnant Joe Tinton's plans for her baby's arrival fell through... When Literally. she crashed through the ceiling, uh, causing her to go into labor. Joe was in the bathroom, which was being rebuilt, when she lost her balance and plunged through the plasterboards into the kitchen 10 feet below. Amazingly, the 37-year-old, who was 35 weeks pregnant at the time, didn't break a single bone. It's the mother's strength. <laughs> the only thing that did break was, was her waters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with the shock of the tumble, she what? said, we were renovating the bathroom for the arrival of the baby and there was nothing but plasterboard and Joyce. Hmm. <laughs> plasterboard under Joyce. Okay. Bearers. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You feel I was, he's finding <laughs> holes in the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was shaken <laughs> and, and it was then that my waters had broken. I just want to say, if I'm 35 weeks pregnant and I fall through a floor, how do you know you don't actually just piss yourself? Yeah. yeah, like I would like. It's pretty scary. And even if you didn't piss some... yourself, you just you just do it because that's <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's your only chance. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 me my... waters. Me waters. <laughs> uh, did the baby survive? Uh it died. Oh, oh. God. no! It didn't. It didn't. It's, uh, t- <laughs> no, no, no. Let me no. Lock a story. Uh, and then t- uh, I was shaken, and it was then that my waters had broken. Uh, when the paramedics arrived. I told them, one way or another, I'm going to have my baby today. How long is 35 weeks? That's a lot. Uh, 40 weeks is full term. Is it? Mm. So it was uh, premature? Mm. Or is that immature? Well, or is that me? I think that's, <laughs> I think that's you. <laughs> yeah, that's just you. What about um, sticking to the theme with uh, bad uh, contractors? Sure. And there's a little story here. <laughs> while, oh. while enduring a kitchen renovation, Angela Maziri tells her Contractor, she can't find the cat in the house. <laughs> hmm. uh, she's probably hiding somewhere, um, Siri says, as she prepares to go to work. George, the contractor, replies, You have to find the cat or it'll end up in your drywall and dead. Oh. You, uh, you, you think I'm exaggerating, but it happens. Um, well, I think that's his responsibility, right? <sighs> oh, no, he's, she's say, he's saying it's not a cat her, wrangler. No, he's saying to her, you wrangle the cat. Yeah. I would I, think, I build you, you know, house. if people are building the house, it's your responsibility to keep your cats and your children away from the yeah. work zone. Yeah. Don't you think? I well, think so. Well, well, yeah, I think so. Missouri and her husband, Jason, we'll call him, um, search for Darwin the cat. <laughs> George mm. describes the time when he was tiling up the bathroom and heard meowing coming from the wall. No. Uh, he says the contractors on that job sealed the drywall Tiled and grouted before they realised the cat had snuck in. That's an expensive redo, isn't it? The cat had been stuck in the wall for at least two days. Oh, poor thing. Uh, We were looking everywhere. Blah, blah, blah. You think you can fit in there? Darwin. Blah, blah, blah. blah. He's not very involved. Shit name for starters. (laughs) Yeah. And then he gets stuck in a wall. Yeah. Yes. Poor Um, bastard. Do you want to do a shout out to your cat? Oh, Oh, yeah. My little hoodie. He gave (laughs) me. No, that was coffee. Had to get get hoodie put down. Mm. 17 years. It's um, a long time. 
He was in the wall. Turned out. <laughs> no, he was old. He um, just di- died of old. Died of old. Yeah. Mm. Died of injection. Mm. But uh, because cause he was, old. was old. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. That's it's a long time to for a cat. Is seventeen that? years? I think that's mm. about right. Fifteen. Seventeen. 15, yeah. 16, yeah, 17, yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes I wish yeah. I died at seventeen. Shout out to Hoodie. <laughs> um, yeah, well, okay. Well, that brought it down uh, sufficiently. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I think we've sort of covered kind of... Oh, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, also, um, lots of fighting goes on when you renovate your oh, God. house. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's a make or break situation because um, the guy says to the wife, uh, it's going to be four to six weeks and we'll have plaster back up. And it's going to be, you're going to be in your bed, clean bed, uh, you know, within a couple of months, babe. Don't worry about it. And it fucking takes years. It does take a while. Mm. You're still renovating? No, we're pretty much done. Done? Yeah. Done and dusted? How was Wednesday night? Was anyone over finishing off anything? Well, Wednesday night. (laughs) Just your insider information. Uh, What do you mean? Well, usually it's a Wednesday night. um, Build, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they were actually putting the bumper back on my car this right, Wednesday right, that so I tore right. off on a gutter. Right. Uh, yeah, they still they still do things in the shed, yeah. but no, not building. It's all finesse now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's looking good. It's garden. Looking good. We're on to garden. Good. Mm. Good. Mm. Good. The fun yes. part. Yes. Mm. yes. I yeah. need a new uh, toilet. My toilet's notoriously small. Yeah, I think. It's very low. Is it? It is actually is now that I. <laughs> so low. Now it's, that I think about it. And yeah. you must feel like, you know, when you go back to primary school, you sit on those tiny <laughs> chairs and like your legs are really high up. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Um, yeah, you know, you're. Um, Toilet's too low when you have to bend your knees to urinate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I found. Oh, ah, good. Good um, times. Yeah, but like, you know, toilets. They're, they're not that expensive, but I don't want to start shelling out money for it because I'm going to rip the guts out of that mm. house. True. I don't want to start. Where do you start? It's like. The like bathroom. That. True. <laughs> true, true, true. Bathroom and kitchen. True, true. It's the yeah. most expensive. Right. Toilet's 101. Yeah. But uh, look, it's neither here nor there. And uh, it's now it's time for the. Well, we had Cardinals. we had the um, no, we had nope. the reveal. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> I always forgot about that. We had um, the house that um, you build from nothing. The mm. well, the, the well, the theme of the, the movie itself. What, what <laughs> was Dealer's it? Dealer's Dealer's uh, it was called Money Pit with uh, Tom Hanks and Sh- that chick from Shelley Cheers. Long. I was thinking, Shelley is Long. that the girl from Cheers? That's her. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And does she play the same? Irritating, yeah. irritating character. Yeah. Like typecasted again. She's pretty sexy back then. Yeah, but Kinda. just if she closed her mouth. <laughs> like, I loved, Ke- you know, That's what was sexy about like, her. cheers. Like, Kirsty Alley. Yeah. Great. Hot Kirsty Alley. Hot yeah, Kirsty yeah, Alley. Yeah. Awesome. That girl in Cheers, I just used to want to smash her with Sam's well, baseball she did, bat. She did uh, she her did job. Her job. That's yes, it. yes. Yeah. Uh, so we had the uh, the <laughs> bath falling through the floor. That was in that was in Money Pit. Yep. Um, pouring money into renovations. Yeah. Uh, renovations yep. in general. Bad mm. contractors. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess we added the treasure thing. And, so added and the, the cat thing. And the possums. Oh, yeah. We added the possum thing. But anyway, it's all things that happen around uh, when you're renovating. Good times. If you're lucky mm. enough to have a house, I guess. Mm. And uh, just on the side note, if anybody has seen the house in the film, it went up for sale. Ah. Which, it's um, hard imitating life again, Tim. It sure is. Mm. In um, let me see. It went okay. So it was falling apart. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, Shoddy and, um, tradies. Oh, we definitely have to do a sequel. I was saying. <laughs> uh, I heard that they were going to do a TV series on it. Yeah, never mm. actually. And that happened, never did it? actually. Would have been pretty good. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. No, you've got your renovator shows. You don't really need a show. No. Like that. No. Uh, the couple invested millions in the extensive re- uh, renovations and it was it was sold for I think two hundred thousand. Yeah. No, I think um, <laughs> no, I think they spent eight million on it and it sold for four point five million. <sighs> less than they asked. Yeah. And then that was um, It's too much for a house. Then later, um, it got sold again. This is a little bit more recent, like 2014, and it sold for 12.5 million dollars. So wow. Someone got out. Someone got 
Made a yeah. pretty penny, I think yeah. we say yeah. in the biz there, Tim. Is that <laughs> what you're saying? I think that's what <laughs> I've said a couple of times. Um, uh, well, there you go. And it's... Uh, Today on the show, we're going to make Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Thailand. Uh, this is uh, where we say our sponsor. Okay. So just um, put that so in like, right I'll now. I'll put the ad in right here. At startervapekit.com.au, we supply the best starter vape modes and equipment for the beginner and more advanced vapor user. We can assist you with all your vaping needs. For regular delivery of vape modes and equipment, subscribe to startervapekit.com.au. SVK are proud sponsors of Turnstile Records Presents. There you go. Start and, a vape kit. Um, I haven't been attending to the Instagram no. feed lately, I but I want to. someone said to you stop posting so much on Instagram. Was that yeah, on your that was relating I been to my on, personal one. I was thinking personal. <laughs> I haven't been on social media at all. I've been a bit slack. Yeah, yeah so, we noticed that while we were away. It's like, yeah. what is Katie's likes? I just, see, yeah, see. I just yeah. haven't. I was I was prolific over the over, yeah Did I was you miss I was my posting okay. and I was like I'll where's go, Katie I'll go through yeah? yeah I just haven't been yeah, I go haven't through been and like on everything anything. Mm. Yeah. but um, there is some good pics up there anyway as yeah. as it is I, yeah. did, I did one upload of about 120 pictures at one point I think that was just um, frustrating this other <laughs> friend of mine on her feed because she's obsessively looks at Instagram and oh really you know yeah 120 shots from me. Mm. Yeah, because you want your something. feed from your restaurants, yeah, I your do gardening the, ones. I yeah. do the sit down and then go, yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one, You're that so one. Catch and up. And mega load. I don't do it and as I go. Load. You don't get a running commentary. You get like a, you binge. Mm. Right. Your, your massive dump. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to say that um, if you are in Melbourne mm. and you listen to this podcast, and you know of another Melbourne-based podcast, mm. drop us a... Drop yeah, us hit a, us up hit on the up. Facebook. Because I've, I've got a plan. I'm not going to say what the plan is, okay. but I need... I want to know... Who's, who's, who's doing Who's it? doing Melbourne podcasts? Gra- grassroots. Well, grassroots. 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 Similar to what we're doing. Anything. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not your Will Andersons and your, your big wigs. Mm. Just uh, general punters that are doing pods. Having a chat. Having yeah, a chat. Okay. Like, yeah. how many are there? Where are they? What's the, what are they called? Or even if you listen to one and you can suggest it to us and then we can hit them up. Mm. You know, that'd be good. Just uh, want to get uh, something going. Mm. Mm. Are we the only Melbourne-based podcast? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know that for a fact. Right. No. Um, I guess that's Great. kind of the cool. fact when I was... I think so. I think so. Is about that? that what is that? <laughs> What's that? What's that smell? Sorry, I farted. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got through that with only one toilet joke. Yeah. Oh, oh my there God. Was the, there was the bend the knees to urinate. Yeah. Uh, no, but that was related. Okay. I, I yeah, said no, massive no. erection a couple you times. You a few times. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. No, I was trying yeah. to give you guys credit, but no. Thanks. You, you Thanks. No credit. No credit. No credit. No give it to us and we... Take it, take it back. I was going to say, what's that smell? It's the music coming up. Ah, oh, that must mean it's the end of the show. Ah, oh, good. On behalf of Turnstile Records and the Escape Pods, uh, thank you for listening. And I've been Jess Bot, and uh, it's great to be back. I've been Timmy Taco. I never left. Uh, I'm Katie. I come in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, goodbye. Cut that bit out. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. The ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes and 45 seconds. The escape pod. Escape pod. The escape pod. What if there are droids in the escape pod? The sensors wouldn't pick them up. The escape pod is really nice. Well, boys, it's a very lovely ship. I think you should look out. Goodbye.